Okay, the goal here it was to use a webcam, but I can't find that, so we're going to go back to using the phone here. I'm going to be trying to pay attention to talking to you and uh, looking at the screen so that the um, pictures line up with what I'm talking about. Um, not ideal, but it is what it is for this week. So, I picked up an Atomic Pie. You can see it uh, hopefully right below uh, this little window here um, in the left hand side there. The goal was to actually do kind of a full review on it this week. Uh, there are a few others out there on the internet, and I'm glad I found this from another one. Uh, but over on the right hand side you can see me tinning the wires. Uh, I do not do any soldering on any regular basis, and uh, I think it will show here. Uh, but the, once I got the wires tinned, I started um, hooking them up to the six pins here. Basically the Atomic Pie by default does not come with a uh, barrel plug adapter. You have to plug into the 26 pin on the bottom of it and what they recommend to do is to actually use at least two of those uh, pins. Um, you can use upwards of six and it really depends on what amperage you are going to be uh, having the device pull. Um, anyways, you can see I finished that up. Now I am testing out to make sure um, how well I did on this uh, soldering and as you can tell here in just a sec, I didn't do that great. I had to go ahead and uh, add some more solder in there make a, a bit more solid connections, but um, I am glad I did check that beforehand. Uh, typically it's not something I would have ended up even thinking about, but I've had enough problems with connections on some of my other projects in the past, decided I better check real quick. Uh, as you can see the smoke is being pulled away there. I finally did invest in a fan, and I'm glad I did that too. got tired of uh, breathing in this smoke, uh, even if it is um, lead-free solder. So, finishing up the solder joints here, and uh, here shortly I'll end up testing uh, actually what voltage I get out. But we'll take a, a bit of dead air here as this uh, finishes up. And then uh, here you can see where I'm actually checking the voltage. Um, they do warn to make sure you do not exceed 5.2 volts. Uh, this power supply came in about a week ago. It actually made it before the Atomic Pi did when I went out on vacation. Um, but I wanted to make sure of two things here. One, that the power was uh, the positive and negative were actually um, correct on this and it wasn't reversed and two that it wasn't over 5.2 volts but as you can see it was at 5.3 so um, we are waiting on another power adapter to come in here in the near future once that comes in we'll verify whether it's actually at 5.2 uh, volts or less and if it is we'll do a um, quick demo of what the device it looks like and everything else. Uh, more here, I would say next week, but the way things go, it'll probably be two, three, or even four it, with my luck. Thanks.